guys. So I've been hired as an infra lead in my new workplace. And I've noticed that Java is the de facto programming language and I'm keen on Go. Why? Because I think Go is faster. And from an infrastructure point of view, it's just so much easier to provision and get Go running and it works better in serverless environments and all the rest of it. I obviously been telling people about this, but you know, we need to be data driven. I need data points to convince people. So I took it upon me to write this blog, have a look at it. So let me just show you the workflow that I use to benchmark it. I just starting from a clean slate here. I deploy the CloudFormation. CloudFormation looks like, oof, 80, okay. I started off with, um, with someone else's work and I've just sort of modified it so that's a bit better, I think. But the idea here is that I am setting up an app, is it a three tier, two tier system, an, an app and a database and another machine. And I benchmark the app. Furthermore, I actually benchmark it from the, um, from the app instance. So that's an overview of what's happening here. And it's gonna take a little bit of time to get going. Hence, this is why I initiated the CloudFormation apply right now through the make file. I started from this guy's article that Java is twice as fast as Go. And I tried to reproduce what he did. And locally, I did reproduce some issues. I, it turned out to be that there were some errors, I think, to do with um, the database driver of Go. It didn't have some sort of connection limit. So that was triggering some errors. I fixed those by changing the database driver. So now there's no Go errors. Great. Of course, I did some local tests on my Arch Linux machine. TLDW running, r benchmarking these apps on my local machine as opposed to AWS is way faster. I'm running a T14S by the way. But anyway, I thought it would be prude to make what I'm doing reproducible, just as I'm doing right here in the video. Hopefully you can copy what I'm just doing here so that people can verify my method. So I've set up the um, machine now and now I should be able to benchmark it using this script. And this script basically copies the bank test JMX. I didn't write this crazy XML um, benchmarking thing, but what I do do is just set up some scripts to copy the files in place, run the benchmark, and then upload the results to my S3 bucket so that we can all view them. So let's just run this now. I'm gonna call this benchmark YouTube and we're benchmarking Go, I think. Okay, get the whole thing going. This takes a few seconds to run. So let, let's do that. Just wanna show you my workflow. So yeah, make delete, make deploy the CloudFormation. A lot of waiting for the Java version. This is why it's not good for servers. Java's not good for servers. This is why I wanna push Go at work. Then I, then I benchmark it. So I'm just copying in some benchmarks here. It is a bit weird when you benchmark again and again, um, I run out of file descriptors. I don't know why. I think it's I think it's a Docker issue. Anyway, let's see. It's doing some tests. I'm a little bit unsatisfied. I mean, there's a lot of complicated stuff going on here. Like, is there a better way to benchmark things? I, I instinctively, in my whole career, I always th think that the database is the bottleneck, but I couldn't really prove it by looking at the cloud monitoring details. So if anyone has a better idea how to, I think the, the best way to figure out if the database is the, the bottleneck is to basically re reduce the, the machine size of the database and, 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 and increase the, the size of the, um, of the app machine size and then maybe go the other way. And that way you would probably know if the database was the bottleneck. I just couldn't really tell from what, what time I spent on here. So once you've run the script, assuming that you have your own bucket to upload to, you get results like this. And the good thing is that, um, as you can see here in the 99 percentile, that's the key here. Go is a lot faster than Java here. So um, hopefully you can reproduce this, the same results that I just did here. Otherwise, I really hope you will have a look at the blog in the description below and, and have a look at my methods. Do point out in the comments if I've missed something obvious. 
I'm still a little bit, as I mentioned, I am confused by this whole too many open file stuff. But for other than that, the data points that I have collected, I think pretty satisfactorily tell me that Go is better. Hopefully this work, I just spent too much time on really, it gets me in the right direction of convincing my colleagues that Go is a better choice than Java. Please like the video, subscribe for more. Comments below guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.